Hello and welcome back to the series on how to get a character from Magicka Voxel to Unity. This is a part 2. We are going to create armature, they're known as rig or skeleton for this character. Now I'm just gonna hit the solid mode, Z into solid mode. Now as you remember from the last video, we have created quite a bit of a backups. So we're just gonna delete all these, we don't really need them. And now we're going to create a rig, press shift A or in the object mode click the add button and we're gonna add armature go in the front view but before we do anything else we need to set up the scene so we could see all the bones properly go to data or the armature and just gonna go to viewport display and just click names if you want to display names and of course display bones in the front so we could see the bones in front of the object now we're gonna hit the edit mode clicking on the armature and tab move this bone upwards somewhere here go to the side view and the first thing that I like to to do is a body bone. This bone will be responsible for moving the entire armature up or down. Press G and move the bone around and if you hold control you can just snap it to the grid so all these points will be perfectly placed. And there we go we have a first bone we're just gonna call it a body bone. Select this tip then go to the front view press E and then just hold control and move it up till it snaps to the neck area. Now if you want to make sure that it does snap to the neck area, you can just click it here, get this menu and just click on the edge center. So whenever you're moving and holding control, it will look for any edges, the center of the edge and snap it. Press E, then press Z and then hold control till it snaps to the neck and it will be perfectly placed in the middle of the shape. And of course to double check that we're just going to press G and then Y and then control and there you go. That's how you perfectly align all the bones. It's probably not gonna work with low poly characters so you're gonna have to eyeball it but with voxel art that's what the best part is is that it can be very perfectly aligned. So now we're just gonna create the bone that hits right at the top of the head. Press E, press Z and just hold control and just snap it to this area like that. A perfect head bone. F2 and rename them to head bone. Now we're gonna create a pelvis bone again from the bone bone <laughs> from the body bone press E and Z export downwards like this one voxel is missing but it doesn't really affect the whole shape anyway just name this pelvis bone so now we're gonna press shift D and move it out like this select it and press alt P clear parent select this bone select the tip control P and just keep offset because when we're gonna move this hip bone the leg bones will be affected as well so now we need to align these bones properly we need to have it on the thigh. So we're just gonna select this tip over here, snap it to here, pressing G, Y, and we're gonna snap it perfectly in the middle. Do the same thing right here, G, snap it to the side middle, and then press G to move it again, press X, and just snap it in the middle. However, in here, select back to increments, move forward by two increments or one voxel. This will be useful for kinematics. Basically, we just need to have a bend. Now, the last piece, set the uh, edge center and then snap it in the center there you go and the last bone is a foot bone horizontally of course make sure that it's aligned as well yes it's on the same line good perfect as you can see this bone is a bit rotated but it's not a big issue go to the front view select all bones shift and n together rotate all of them to view axis and all the bones will be aligned properly however the naming of the bones are very important here call this thigh bone dot l calf bone dot l foot bone dot l the reason why is because when we apply the bones on one side and once we're gonna finish all the kinematics which is going to symmetrize the bones it will spawn the other side and will automatically rename to r so that's the very cool feature that blender has but for now we're just gonna keep everything on the same side to add the uh, bone to the arm we're going to select torso bone shift d to duplicate it and then we're gonna press alt p to clear the parent select this bone and then the shift click on the neck control p keep the offset at this point it really depends what you want to do with your model in terms of arm control some have the arm bone where it starts from the shoulder but i'm thinking about making it a little bit more fancier so i'm just going to have this arm rotate from the exact center of this connecting part and then just move this part g y and center it like this move it down here press g y and then here to center it 
perfectly keep it straight and then the last part again we're gonna change the increments create the elbow one two there you go and then again select all the bones shift n view axis align these bones properly now if you want to test things out you can just go to the uh, pose mode move around the limbs and as you can see that these parts will be affected which is good bones are attached the way they should be let's see if the whole skeleton is moving yep it's moving fantastic if you move the body then the whole head and arms move together now we're gonna reset all the positions select all the bones and just hold alt r g it will reset all the bone positions go back to edit mode rename these bones as well so that's the basic rig now we're gonna start setting up the kinematics. First things first, we're gonna extract a bone from a knee, Alt P, player parent, move it to the front, call it knee bone.l. Do the same thing from the heel, name it heel bone.l. And we're gonna also separate the parenting, but just keep it here. And we're gonna do the same thing with the wrists and elbows a bone upwards wrist bone dot l clear the parent the same thing with the elbow alt p move it call it elbow bone dot l select all the bones again and then shift n view axis and that's it let's just start with the legs go into the pose mode first thing we're gonna do is select all these extruded bones the wrist heel knee and elbow and Un untick the deform now we're gonna select a calf, go to this bone constraints setting and we are going to apply inverse kinematics. The targeting is going to be armature, first bone is going to be the heel bone, heel bone.l, so basically the bottom bone, then again armature for the pole targeting and then we're gonna have a knee bone. Now as you can see the all armature will deform, all we have to do is just add chain length to 2 and then add the pole angle. 90 to make the foot rotate forward because if you don't have it on 90 then it's gonna rotate elsewhere so we're just gonna set on 90 degrees to rotate it forward and that's it for this leg so for the forearm is pretty much the same thing inverse kinematic set up the bone but this time it's going to be a wrist bone the bottom part armature and then the elbow again set to 2 but this time it's going to be minus 90 degrees 90 degrees is not gonna be facing perfectly backwards so you can just customize it to set to 100 then it's gonna be facing perfectly backwards and that's it for the kinematics now we're gonna set up the uh, select the foot bone add copy rotation over here select the armature as the main thing and the heel bone as the something that we're gonna copy to set the target to local space both of them to local space invert it on x and y axis if i remember correctly rotating perfectly yep and the last thing we need to do is select on the foot bone go to relations inherit rotation on ticket that will keep the foot straight forward do the same thing for the hand inherit rotation on ticked add the uh, copy rotation set up the armature then wrist bone set to local space inherit x and y yep it works fine fantastic if x and y doesn't work for you for some reason just play around and see what works as you can see now if i'm gonna move the elbow bone the arm will follow it same thing for the knee itself and if i'll move the heel bone the leg moves perfectly arm it moves perfectly as well then we're gonna go back to the edit pose and select all bone and inside this screen right click and symmetrize and you're gonna have the whole skeleton complete and now we're just going to test it again in the pose mode, see if the all bones work. As you can see, if we move the body bone, arms stay around and that's why it's useful when it comes to jumping animations or walking animations. It's very cool. So now that we have the whole skeleton done, back to object mode, select all the body part, then shift click on the armature, press control P and we're gonna group them with the empty groups. Like this all the objects will be attached to armature but if you're gonna go to animation all the parts are not attached mainly because we're gonna have to attach them manually before we do that uh, we need to add one more bone just attach the cape part g y center it like this select all the bones shift n view axis rotate like this and we have the cape bone yeah cape should rotate with the torso again select all objects then shift click armature then we're gonna 
Control P, keep empty groups. Now the final step is attach all these limbs in onto the bones itself. And it's very simple, go back to object mode, then select the body parts, go to edit mode, select all the vertices in the data, this triangle object, and you will have a list of bones displayed in like very small screen. So you can just expand it right here by these dots and then assign every body to the each bone. That's why the naming is very important so you will know what to attach where. So we have a torso selected, we're gonna attach it to the torso bone. Click the torso bone and click this button assign and that's it. And you're gonna have to go through all objects right here and attach them to each bone. That's pretty much it. Test it, pose mode, see if all the limbs have been attached properly. All right, let's see, the cape is attached properly. Good, you can attach multiple things to the same bone. Arms are moving perfectly, good. The legs are attached as well. And that's why you need to connect the thigh bones to the tip of the pelvis part. Makes things a little bit easier to animate. And that's how you basically attach all the bones where they need to be attached. Now, if you made a mistake where you have multiple bones attached to one part, Alt R, R, G, go back to the object mode, select the body part you attached by accident, select the bone, go to edit mode and just remove all the bones and then reattach the whole thing. This is how you rig the character, very basic rig, and that's how you attach all the body parts to the each bone. Most of the voxel art stuff is done like that, where all limbs do not bend or shape. They have to stay solid, unless you have like some cartoonified visuals, and that's all. So in the next video, we are going to animate this character now. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. So th thanks for watching, <laughs> and I'll see you in the uh, next video.